welcome back to my channel this is Sonya affiliate and in this short video tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to run a debug on a WordPress website um, this can actually happen when you're um, running a design on your website and get you get this kind of error message on your WordPress website I'm going to be showing you just exactly how to do that so to do that first you need to head over to your C panel you need to make sure you have access to your C panel because that is where we are going to be running the debug so in your C panel what we need to do is to locate the WordPress file manager Okay, we need to locate the file manager where the WordPress script is installed. So um, let me just scroll to the top here. So let's search for it here. So just look for file and then you click on the file manager. All right, um, let's wait for it to load up. All right. Okay, now that you have it loaded up, um, in the file manager section, you need to locate the public HTML folder. Okay, that's the root folder. So you click on it and then you look for the WP configuration file. That's where we're going to be running the debug. So double click on it, then edit. Okay, so edit. Okay, so now that we have it loaded up, you need to scroll to the bottom and look for the debug file. You're going to see the debug code and you see the settings where it is in false. So this is where we're going to be running the settings here. So change that false to true. The reason why it is in false, you will not be able to locate what is actually happening on the front end. So change it to true, then click on save changes. All right, so you can see that the changes is saved successfully so now we can head over to the website so the error that's on the site is going to come up so now you can see that the error on this site is a theme that was installed on the uh, WordPress website so you can see that it is actually a theme that's uh, causing the problem I think it's a news theme yes it's a news theme so what we are going to do now is to head over to the um, C panel and delete this team that is causing the error and the site is going to be fixed. Okay, so uh, we just need to locate this uh, theme in the file manager that is in our C panel. So let's head over to C panel, then go to the WordPress configuration, uh, WP content. Okay, in the team folder now, let's uh, look for, yes, this is the team, so we are going to delete this. Alright, so that's the team that is actually causing the error. That's the team that is actually causing the error. And let's go back to the front end, and then we are going to reload the site. So we'll see that the error will be taken off immediately, and the site is going to load up. Okay, so um, now the site is already working. You can see uh, the dashboard is back. This is the site that was actually showing error a while ago, but you can see that it is working back. So um, let's go and actually uh, change the theme because the thing we deleted, we actually caused an error on the front end because we deleted it from the back end. So let's choose um, one of the theme here and just change it and use it for uh, what we want to do. So uh, we have the theme activated. So now we can view the site on the front end to see what it looks like. Okay, so now you can see the site is back and everything is fixed. So um, this is just how you debug your WordPress website. When you run into an error, you don't need to be scared or worried about it. It's very, very easy to do. Okay, so 
that's just how you um, debug your WordPress website. All right, so you can see that all the um, menu is back, so we can close. So now that we are done, sorry, um, before you go back, make sure you change this settings back to false all right this debug code so we change it back to false so it won't display an error again on the front end except you want to fix it then click on save changes okay make sure you remember this make sure you fix it then click on close so now you can close um, all the tabs as you have your wordpress website fixed and it is up and running so that's just how you do it, all right? So make sure you subscribe to our channel for more uh, videos like this, all right? And make sure, I want you to know that you can always enroll for any of our courses on our platform. So make sure you subscribe so you always get notified when we post 